Aloha, this is Reiki Love. People call me Voltex Healer. Welcome to my class. So today we're going to talk about free will. What is free will? You must have heard of this concept before. Perhaps in a relationship too, you have a free will to choose. But what is it? Where does this come from? And how does this apply to your spiritual development? Before we talk about it, we need to talk about divine intention. At the point when we come to exist, the conscious being in a whole form, in our case, the body, we are granted a set of gifts from our universe. Free will expression is one of those and came with co-creative agreement, the co-creation with all as a framework. So in many cases, this can be quite different concept from careless or carefree acts or behavior. For example, you have a free will to choose. That does not mean you could just go ahead and do whatever you wish, whatever you desire. So can you think of a co-creation in your life? Can you give an example of a co-creation seen in nature? That's kind of make you think of what is a co-creation. Because we are consciously and unconsciously creating many things every moment. Um, is this a good example of, of co-creation? Let's take the example to nature. Those are one of the many beautiful co-creative expression seen in nature. So the in a coral system, providing a housing for the fish, so a fish could come and find food, right? These are beautiful, uh, cool, creative expression. And here the bee, <laughs> the whole his head inside of the flower. Yes, so collecting honey in exchange of the reproduction for the flower. And this bee is gonna go somewhere else and repeat. So this is a beautiful agreement, the co-creative expression seen in nature. I'm sure you could find many other examples. How about you? How about us? Let us review our daily lives. Which area do you feel that you are co-creating with others? Consciously, from gardening to cleaning, we may not consciously thinking of others, such as consequences of pesticide use, chemical that are not meant to be poured down to the sink or down to soil. How about the food we consume every day, medicine we take, the thing we put on our body, on the face, on the body, or even the clothing? Hmm, right? It's not bad things to pose and ponder upon those important areas. So which areas do you feel great? Being a part of a creative force, encouraging co-creation with our planet, Mother Earth, empowering your friend and your loved one to have a more balanced and conscious living. So free will expression of God's self. Co-creation with all living things, or all creation, mean that one needs to be fully capable of self-sustaining and self-balancing. Get it? Because if we are not, we tend to get tangled with drama, or perhaps um, 
the taking advantage of or has to survive in order to A, B, C, right? Correct? So we don't want to put ourselves in that kind of situation. So we need to be as much as we can be to aim for self-sustaining and self-balancing. Yes, it is not an easy thing. Each and every moment you are one with or in total alignment with God, divine self, or creative center of all. As you take a breath, inhale and exhale. You align yourself with your divine self, the center of creation. Within this frame or framework, you are allowed to express yourself in any way you desire. Feeling empowered? Know that you are given this power, power to choose, co-create with all living things. It is up to you how you apply this power in your life. Remember, free will does not come free. It is a gift from God to all divine beings. The more you become aware of this sacred agreement, the more you feel gratitude, love, and harmony. Thank you for coming here to learn. Much love to you. And namaste.